Hey, what's up, guys? Jace Corporation.net here with the first look at Ice Cream Sandwich on the Motorola Zoom. This is not the official build, but this was the build used to uh, get feedback. So let's take a quick look at it. First, we're going to talk about the refined and evolved UI of Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, pretty much everything is faster and smoother as you uh, was expecting from Honeycomb, but Honeycomb quite didn't deliver that smooth and fast experience. You can see the transitions in the app drawer are just beautiful and they're smooth. Uh, I really believe that Honeycomb was kind of rushed and Ice Cream Sandwich really just makes the whole experience of the tablet better. Now that the widgets are in the app drawer, it's still the same little uh, gesture to put them on a screen, just drag and drop, and there on your screen, you can move them around. And it does have some resizable widgets, but pretty much they're pretty much the same as Honeycomb. So, yeah, it's pretty much Honeycomb, but faster and smoother, and a better user experience all around. Next, we're going to take a look at multitasking which is uh, visually the same but has a little more extra as you see you can swipe applications off the screen or left or right to actually kill them and uh, they'll be removed from the list and they also do stop the app so that was brought over uh, it was it was something in honeycomb that was visually there but didn't have the actual swipe off the screen function you also see they do add the folders function which is nice if you want to add a few applications together you can organize them in folders which can cut down on home screen clutter next I want to take a look at the new lock screen actions which allow you to swipe to the left if you want to unlock the device and swipe to the excuse me swipe to the right if you want to unlock and swipe to the left if you want to go directly into the camera application and since we're here We'll talk about the new redesigned camera application. It's the same as you see on the Galaxy Nexus, where you have photos, videos, and the panorama mode. You have all the same settings. You, know, you can change the video uh, resolution and stuff like that. And it's uh, much improved over Android Gingerbread. Now, let's take a look at the new and improved browser. Well, it's not really new, but it's greatly improved. Uh, please keep in mind that I was on a kind of slow connection, so uh, load times are not the best. But this is just relatively showing you how you know pinch to zoom and sites like heavy sites like The Verge. I know The Verge is typically pretty a uh, pretty heavy site and sometimes lags on desktops. But I'll just show you the desktop site, and uh, that's another thing about the new browsers. You have the option uh, and the option menu to uh, request a desktop site so you don't have to do the about debug and put in your user agent as a desktop you can just do that in the menu if you don't want to view the mobile site and they force you to view the mobile site so as you see when the page loaded uh, scrolling was fast pressure zooming was fast it was all there I did have flash on so any flash advertisements or any flash videos that were on this page we're fully loaded and ready to go and you see I'll go to another site that's notoriously bad at giving you the mobile site and they don't have an option for you to view the regular site on their mobile site so if you go there and you have the view or request desktop site on you will actually go to NBA.com and it will give you the full site with flash and flash videos and everything which I've been waiting for this for a while because I know the mobile site for NBA.com is very, very bad, and it's just a, a horrible experience on a, on a 10-inch tablet like the Motorola Zoom. Now let's take a look at the improved email it's pretty much the same email client but I guess they improved it I did get a notification from Gmail asking me the first time I launched Gmail to sync the last 30 days of email to help improve search offline and online I didn't do that because the 30 days of email is a lot of email 
and I really don't use the email search for the past 30 days but uh, here you can also see the new Roboto font which is something new on Android 4.0 and let's just take a look at the new last but not least let's take a new settings menu which breaks down stuff into categories and you can see it uses the double pane view and it gives you also the data that you have used. so if you do have the uh, Verizon 4G zoom you can check your data uses and uh, just go to settings show that we are on Android 4.0.3 so thank you guys for watching hopefully uh, Motorola comes out with the official over the air update soon that's pretty much it for this video if you have any questions about Android 4.0 and the zoom just leave a comment I'll try to answer them so thanks guys thank you guys for watching